Let's learn how to curve text and features along a surface in Fusion 360. My name's Adam James, and be sure to like and subscribe for jumping right on in. So you may be thinking, Adam, didn't you create a video about this like a year ago? We're going to learn how to curve text in Fusion 360. And the answer to that is kind of. That video was specifically relating to curving text, not along the surface, right? Fusion 360 came out with a feature that allows you to now curve text and wrap it around a 3D surface, which I think is really cool. There's some prehistoric techniques out there right now involving uh, creating it in sheet metal first and then bending it and you need an open slot and then continuing the extrusion. This method is genius. I love it. It's super quick. It's easy. And you all deserve to know how to do it using this workflow. So let's jump right on in. We are in the Fusion 360 workspace. Go ahead and save this design up at the top left and name it curve text on surface. Hit enter and we're all set to go. I will left click on this create sketch and then click on <coughs> this top plane here. And then we'll do C for circle, click on the center origin, and we'll just left click again and hit escape. C for circle, or excuse me, D for dimension, click this circle, left click, and then let's just make this like 50. That's fine, escape. And we'll left click on finish sketch and shift middle click to reorient this. So let's left click on the circle that we just created and then we'll hit extrude at the top left or you can hit E on the keyboard. And then we will left click and drag this up. 40 is fine. And then we'll left click okay. So now we've got this 3D cylinder, super cool. Um, what I'd like to do is click, uh, is create a plane offset from this surface. So we will cl left click on offset plane and then we'll left click on this back plane here, which becomes visible from the origin, and then we'll left click and drag just enough so that it extends beyond this uh, this 3D object. And then we'll shift metal click to reorient, and then we'll left click on that plane and left click on create sketch. So here's where it gets really easy. Uh, click on create and then click on text and you can create a text whatever it is we'll just say cur uh let's see curved surface text uh, and we'll just make this like five millimeters cool and we can even extend this past the surface and just to make it fun we'll even put it in an angle so previously what Fusion 360 was able to do was you were able to project this onto, well, let's just do it, right? Left click on finish sketch, we'll hit extrude, and then you could go, oh cool, I've got this <clears throat> curved text on a surface, but you don't really because you're just doing a 2D uh, planar extrusion on the surface, but what you see happens is when you get to the sides here, it doesn't follow the surface or the path of the 3D object. So not really cool if a you want the surface to be planar to the surface of the plant of of the three D object, and if it goes a, above and beyond the the length of the object that we're, you're trying to project onto. So let's delete this extrusion here. Right click in the timeline at the bottom, and then you can left click on delete. And then if we left click on sketches in the tree, we can show the sketch again. It's just sketch two. Uh, and the new feature that we're going to use, I can't actually recall if it's in modify or create, um, emboss. So emboss, it says, raises or recesses a sketch profile relative to faces on a solid body by a specified depth and direction. Select sketch profiles, select faces on a solid body to emboss, then adjust depth, effect, and alignment. So this is exactly what we're going to use. Um, let's see here. We will click on our, our sketch profile. We'll left click on the text example that we just created. So we'll left click there. And then the face that we want to project onto. So the cylinder, right? We want to make sure that we uh, left click on this, this cylinder. And <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost just laughable how easy um, Fusion makes this operation here. Um, what was such 
a hard um, task to achieve and fusion is now just like the ri most ridiculously easy thing to do. Um, and you can just click okay. And you can modify the depth if you'd like it to be um, not it. actually, let's go ahead and do that. Right click down here in the history timeline and then left click on edit feature. And you can modify the depth here. Just you can hit one, it makes it uh, one millimeter uh, in thickness. And what else? Let's see. And you can also do a deboss, right? So if you don't want it to be uh, protruding outward of the surface, which is a boss, right? You can um, basically do like a small extrusion into the surface uh, and have a cut as well. Um, so that's really cool, right? That That is exactly uh, what we've been looking for and looking in Fusion for you know a while at, at least uh, multiple years at this point so let's do another example with a feature to just see if it works the same uh, and i think that's pretty much the the gist of this video so let's left click on create sketch left click on this guy and we'll just for all intensive learning purposes we'll make it a little more complex more of an organic shape here um, left clicking all the way around to create that spline uh, and then we'll hit escape and then finish sketch left click on this and left click on extrude and then drag to extrude up just do seven millimeters and left click so now we've got this funky looking shape uh, we will do the same thing, right? Construct offset plane from the face. Whenever you do this, you just want to make sure that whatever object or design or text that you're creating has to be designed on a plane, which is offset from the face. And then we'll click OK. Left click on that plane again and do create sketch. And we'll do maybe a similar, uh, maybe we want like uh, some kind of, cool 3D design to go along that. We'll do finish sketch and go up to create and click on emboss. The sketch profile is the one that we just created. The face that we want to emboss is the face that the face that we just created. And look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at how complex this geometry is two complex geometries and it's just and wrapping all the way around it with no issues it almost looks like kind of a piece of gum right that you're sticking to this 3d surface within a cad software which is really unique and i think you can get creative with it comment down below what uh you think you're going to use it for the most uh oh and it actually looks like you can you can reposition where you want that boss to be located interesting with some of these drag um commands I wouldn't recommend that. I would just kind of modify the sketch in the timeline history below, but cool to know that that exists. And then you can left click on create. So very cool feature to actually see a fusion bringing to the workspace. I'm excited to see what projects uh, I will incorporate this feature on and be sure to leave in the comments below what you think you'll find most useful in introducing this into your uh, design workflow moving forward. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is Adam James. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.